Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this video is the Grandstream GWN7830 aggregation switch. So this is a new switch line from Grandstream, their aggregation, uh, their layer three, and their managed. So you've got the 7830, which is this guy. You got the 7831 and the 7832. So we're going to go over, over all of them eventually, but we're going to start with the GWN 7830. What else is in the box? You get rack ears and feet for the bottom. You get a quick install guide. Then you get a power cable, a power cable uh, relief zip tie there. You get your rack ear screws and you get a grounding cable so real quick before we fire this up let's take a, a look at the device itself and then we'll take a look at the um, at the sheet that shows us everything but here in the front you can see you've got a you've got a, a console port you've got a reset button over here You've got four SFP plus ports. So those are, you know, 10 gig. And then you've got six SFP ports. Now the SFP plus could be used as standard SFP, but not vice versa. And then you've got two ethernet ports. So your power is on the back there. Of course, your um, rack ears go on the side. So let's hop over real quick to here is the uh, data sheet. So you can see, by the way, you can manage these locally by themselves, which is what we're going to do. You can manage them in GWN Manager, which is the on-prem, uh, basically GWN.cloud, right? So you've got GWN.cloud, you've got GWN Manager, and you can manage these locally. We're going to manage this locally. And as you can see with everything with, Grandstream is QoS is huge in the Grandstream world because they started out with voice and then came to the network side. So as you can see, we got two gigabit Ethernet ports, six gigabit, six gigabit, blah, 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 gigabit Ethernet ports. We've got four SS, SF, SFP plus, which can do 10 gig, but uh, it can also do the one gig if you want to. Uh, go back down there. They've got a list of supported modules. So they do have their own modules, but we have used other manufacturers' modules and they've worked just fine. You do have a console port, 30 watt power supply. There is no redundancy for this uh, little guy. There is on the larger units. You got a reset a pinhole. For this switch, the total non blocking throughput is 98 gigs a second, and total switching capacity is 96 gigs a second. So We'll see as things go on, you know, how this works. Because this will go in the top of our top of our rack. What else can it handle? We can do 16,000 MAC addresses in this, 4,000 VLANs. We can do VLAN routing. They're going to have GVRP coming up. We can do six lag groups, support spanning tree, STP, RSTP, MSTP. We've got static routing, dynamic routing, including RIP, and OSPF and policy routing will be coming. It can do IGMP snooping with IGMP version two and three, MLD snooping and MVR is pending. And then uh, we can do port priority, priority mapping, queue scheduling with all those other queues that are there, traffic shaping, rate limiting. It has a DHCP server, can do DHCP relay. Of course that comes in with the layer three. Um, and look at this other security stuff. So it has HTTPS, SSH, don't know why Telnet's there. It can do 802.1x. You can configure AAA. Storm control, port isolation, port security, and sticky MAC address. We can do MAC address filtering. We can do IP source guard. It's got denial of service, attack prevention, ARP inspection, DHCP snooping, loop prevention. Uh, and it does have a Kensington security uh, lock port, which is on the side right there. 
So let's uh, go ahead. That's enough of looking at the data sheet. Let's go ahead and we're going to get this plugged in and we'll get logged into it. We may have to upgrade the firmware. Uh, one thing about uh, Grandstream is on the bottom of every device, there is a unique default password. So I'm going to take, <laughs> I'm going to take a picture of this so that uh, I don't have to try to manipulate the switch while we're, um, you know, trying to film this. So I'm going to take my picture and, uh, and I'm going to get this hooked up and we'll be right back. All right. So the switch is like, it's like totally silent. It's over here to my right. Uh, I don't think it has, I think this, this version, the smaller one is fanless. And, uh, but I've got it plugged in and you can see here we are. So, um, we are going to go ahead and log into this. Let me get my super secret password. I had to take a picture of because, um, any of you who've ever looked at the bottom of one of these, you will know that those passwords are tiny. All right, so here we are. We are in the GWN 7830. Looks like everything is kind of default. We're on, uh, looks like version 1.0.3.3. So real quick, let's hop over and see where we're at with firmware. Give me just a second. All right, so over on the Grandstream uh, firmware site, the GWN 7830, we are on the latest firmware, that 1.0.3.3. So that is how it uh, came out of the box. All right, so let's hop back over here. So this should look familiar uh, from our last Grandstream switch that we configured. Now here you can see you've got some different things happening. We've got some different colors up here because now we've got 10 gig. we got gigabit, 10, 100. we got linked down. So these are all linked down. Right now we are connected on port 1 at a gigabit. So we get all of our information there. Got our basic port settings. So you can see that these two are copper, and then these identify, these six identify as SFP, and then you have SFP plus right here. So you can edit this. Oh, and look at this. By default, it looks like we got jumbo frames turned on. And that's pretty cool. So let's see if jumbo frames is turned on on an SPF, just a standard one. And it does look like it is or at least it's configured. I don't know if it's turned on in in the system, but let's see what the copper says. And copper showing jumbo frames, but I don't know if that means it's configured. We've got flow statistics, port auto recovery. We've got our lag groups that we can set up. Here's our MAC address table. Now, of course, you're seeing everything. MAC addresses for everything else that's plugged into this same other switch. Here's our VLANs. We can do our port settings, port members, our voice VLAN, our OUIs. If we want to add other manufacturers, you can see the ones that, that come in here by default. Here's our spanning tree setup. Now under IP, we can do, here's the VLAN IP interface. So we can add, you know, if we have VLAN 2, we can come in here and set up the VLAN 2 interface. DHCP server, DHCP relay. Here's that ARP table. ARP table, when you're troubleshooting and you're looking for stuff, is a fantastic place to look. We've got neighbor discovery. So I don't know if this is, um, I'm not sure which discovery uh, this is doing at the moment. We've got our DNS settings here. Here's our full multicast setup. So if we want to do like multicast paging and things like that, the Grandstream switches are fantastic. So very in-depth um, configuration. Okay, here's our routing. So we've got our static routing, static routes here. Here is OSPF, so we can configure that. And it looks like we can have multiple areas on this, not just a single area. So that's fantastic. So we're going to get into some OSPF configuration. Here's our quality of service. You can come in here. Uh, DSCP is a way that we're going to do a lot of our QoS, or we might just give an entire VLAN. If it's the voice VLAN, we would give that VLAN also more priority. Under security, we've got our storm control, port security, our ACLs. And remember, ACLs, you can lock yourself out very easily. 
anti-attack, DAI, radius, AAA, 802.1x, DHCP snooping. So this should all look very familiar. And then we can rename the system here. Uh, definitely the time zone that I'm in is not not that uh, time zone. I am in central time. There's eastern. Central time, Chicago. So we will save that so that we get a good time and date. Access control, SSH, we're not going to have. Here's manager settings so we can uh, drop this into a GWN manager. I'm going to turn off SSH for now. Here's where we can add our users. And then we have time policies. So uh, I think that this switch is going to be a great addition to the rack, especially with the OSPF. And so we're, we're going to – I'll do a video on the other switches, but we'll get this one mounted. I'll do some uh, other social media posts on it. So if you don't follow me on um, – either YouTube or Twitter slash X or TikTok, make sure you do so that when I post the pictures of this mounted in the rack, you'll be able to um, follow along. So this is kind of where we're starting with that with the GWN7830. We'll get into some more in the weeds configuration, but I thought you'd kind of want to take a look at this. It's very interesting. So like I said, six SFP ports, four SFP plus ports, aggregation switch at the top of your rack, Locally managed, app managed uh, with your own GWN manager or manage it with Grandstream's cloud at, at uh, um, GWN.cloud, which is also merged with GDMS if you haven't seen that recently. So I'm really excited about uh, the switches, and we actually had a customer who was having a problem with getting multicast paging to work and we had him drop in two grand stream switches and James was able to get him up and going in way less than an hour. So uh, they, they're working. They do work. They've been deployed in the field. Many of you are deploying them in the field. So uh, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, come back for more grand stream content because we are going to get into some configuration videos. And uh, also, don't forget that we have our we launched our community. It's at community.willyhow.com. The link is down in the description. Um, come on over, sign up. We're going to be building that community. We'll be talking about these switches, other grand stream stuff, other providers, and things like that. Uh, doing some light troubleshooting, some training, things like that. So come on over, join the community, and uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with a Patreon link and affiliate links, and if you need IT consulting, you need a uh, new network set up, you need your network tuned, whatever, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form right there on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I hope you're as excited about these grand stream switches as I am. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.